Hey, young people, middle school, high school, college, I want to encourage you to read good books. I will argue these, is, these are one of the strangest times that America has ever faced. A time where truth is being denied on many levels. Even obvious truth is being denied. I went back to my, well, I, I had a journal here back in 2004. And I'm looking at some of the books I wrote down to read. It says, list of books to read and authors. Finishing Strong by Steve Farrar. Think Big, Gifted Hands, The Big Picture. You Can Reach the Top by Zig Ziglar. John Maxwell, um, A Nation Without a Conscience by Tim LaHaye and so on and so forth. So very good books there. Let me talk about Zig Ziglar for a second. One of the things he said in his book, again, as a teenager, I was blessed with the opportunity to read this book. And one of the things he said is, you know you are at the top when you've made friends with the past, are focused on the present, and optimistic about the future. That's one of his you know, 12 things, you know, you know you're at the top when this happens. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take some lessons from books that I've read and inspire you with them. Does that sound like a plan? Let's take lessons from what I've learned growing up and then try and encourage you. But then please get some good books and read books about life. Read books about how to live. Encourage others to make time daily. Let's aim for like 30 minutes a day in the summer to read. Don't just play away the, with the summer and not make time to grow in your thinking because the years are going by. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 that redeeming the times for the days are evil. So Zig Ziglar's book, You Can Reach the Top, gives us a list of things that, you know, you, have, you know you're at the top when, and then he says something, right? So we can take the next few days and do some of them. But one of my favorites is that um, it says, you know you, you've you reached the top when you stand in the front of the creator of the universe, and he says to you, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done, good and faithful servant. That's what we should aspire for. And I know failure or things happen when we, we feel like we failed and there's no hope. But let's keep our eyes on the prize and let us seek to repent and reset and, and ask God for grace for the journey ahead. And that's back to that first one. You've made friends with the past, right? We make friends with the past because we want to learn. Hey, what, what, what can I learn from the past? You're focused on the present and you're optimistic about the future. Young people... I'm here to encourage you with the Living Sensibly podcast. Now, your parents are welcome. Grandparents are welcome. Let's have conversations about how to transform American education. Let's have conversations about how to inspire young people to excellence. Let's have conversations about how to help young people live lives that make sense. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel, Amos the Math Guy, or Living Sensibly with Amos Tarfa. Those are my two channels. One is focused more on inspiring young people and education policy, and the other one just has a lot of math problems. And that's one way you can support my work is ordering any of my math curriculums. I have math curriculum from kindergarten all the way to calculus five. So reach out if you have any questions. Have a blessed day.